Affinity just released their new app and it is just called Affinity. It's supposed to be an all-in-one and you can pay more for AI stuff, but this is supposed to be completely free if you don't want the AI stuff. So go to affinity.studio slash download. You may or may not have to log in. I installed it and uh, here it is open up. Once you install the program, you will have to sign in to the program itself. And this comes up. I haven't done anything in it yet, so let's go through this together. I am not going to skip it. That is just a YouTube video and I'm going to actually skip that because I don't want a copyright strike and you can just go to Affinity First Look on YouTube if you want to do that. So skip. Agree to share my data usage. Offer on, that's really up to you. Watch tutorial. Let's watch it. Or not. Nothing happened. All that did was shut down the program. This is what it looks like when you start it up. Automatic crash. Oh, they've got a bunch of tutorials here. We'll click out of that. Open up. Uploading crash reports. Yes, I would actually like to do that because this is a new product as of today. Vector, pixel, layout, Canva. I probably won't be using that. Let's go with the picture of my cats and see how we can use this thing. Copy and paste the background. This looks like the Affinity Photo 2 did right here. Over here is changed up a little bit. Move tool, crop, object selection, rectangular marquee, fill tool, paintbrush, blah, blah, blah. goes down the line. We've got a quick adjustments right here. Select the layer, exposure. Here's a bunch of auto stuff down here. Look at the panels and it looks like you can add all of this mess. This is quite a bit actually. If I was to go to the histogram, it will delete it from here or well just not show it and then put it back in right there. Layers, we've got to have layers. You gotta have that. There is a lot to choose from here. Stock from Pexels, that could be handy if you're into that. Oh, that's cool. So if you go up here and click onto something else, it just brings it into what would have been a different program, but now it's all in one. So that just moves your image between them and it's all in the same box. Now say I wanted to adjust just individual levels and go to adjustments. And this is one thing I like to do with most of my photos. I go to selective color, just select the default and I go through each thing on here and just do slight touch-ups. The white, neutral, and black, that is what I end up doing the most of near the end. So I go all the way till it's like washed out with whatever color and then I will just move it back. I do a lot more in depth with this. I'm just kind of going through the program right now. Not in depth, just kind of poking around, seeing what we got. But for them to release this completely free is pretty awesome, but there's gotta be some sort of trade off. Maybe they're gonna make the money up with the Canva AI, I'm not sure. Go with some text. That is very small. Cats, oh, that's what they are. You can rasterize. So there you have it. There are some very basic basics of this new thing. And what I like is probably what most people would like, I assume, is having this an all-in-one. So you're in Pixel, you go to Vector, New Container Layer, slaps it on there. That's really it. Check this out. It's free. It's going to cost you just your time. But again, go to affinity.studio slash download. You may or may not have to log in there, but once you get the program installed, you will have to log in to use that. And that's just a one-time thing. Thanks for watching. I hope this informed you somewhat. And again, this is amazing that it's free. Okay. Bye.